Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to section 9.2, Solving Quadratic Equations by Graphing. We're going to get this lesson started off with some vocab words. First is quadratic equation. Quadratic equations are quadratic functions that are set to a value, so they would be just be set to a number. And then standard form of these guys is shown here, where it's x squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a cannot be 0, because if it was set to 0, it would not be a quadratic equation. And a, b, and c are all integers, so they are all numbers. Let's get started. Here we go with number 1. We have to solve this by graphing. So now we're asked to solve this guy. First thing, though, we have to do is to make this into standard form. How do we do that? Let's subtract that 3 over. So we have x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. So now we have it in standard form. Once we put it in standard form, it's the same exact thing that we have been doing the past two days on graphing a quadratic function. So let's go ahead and graph this. How did we graph something like this? Well, we found our a, which is 1, our b, which is negative 2, and then plug them in for our axis of symmetry. So we went negative and then a negative 2 all over 2 times 1, which gives us a now positive 2 over 2, which is 1. So our axis of symmetry is a positive 1. So I'm going to go ahead and put that axis of symmetry down right at 1, and there's my axis of symmetry, that red line. Now what do we do with this one? We plug it back into the equation. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we have a 1 squared minus 2 times 1 minus 3, and that equals 0. Here we go. Keep going. We have 1 minus 2 minus 3. Now this whole mess is going to give me a negative 4. So since I found negative 4 from putting in 1, I'm going to put negative 4 on my axisymmetry. So there's my vertex. Now what do we have to do? We have to pick two values bigger than what's in this box, bigger than our axis symmetry. So I'm going to pick 2 and 3. All right, The closer they are to this number, the easier, easier they will be to graph. So now, what do we do with 2? We put it in for those x's. So we get 2, that is being squared, minus 2 times 2 minus 3, and that gives me a negative 3, so I have coordinate point 2, 3, and then I plug this 3 in because I picked it into that x again, and so it's 3 squared minus 2 times 3 minus 3, and that gives me 0, so I have coordinate point 3, 0. Now we graph both of those lines, or both of those coordinate points at 2, 3, so from our origin we go over 2, down 3, this should be a negative 3, sorry, this should be a negative 3 because of that negative 3. And then we have 3, 0, so we go over 3, we stay right at 0. What's the next thing we have to do? Now we have to reflect the points over the axis symmetry. So it goes 1 to it, 1 away from it, put a point. This point, 2 to it, 2 away from it, put a point. Now, should this open up? My points show that the graph is open up. Yes, it should open up because that x squared is positive, so now we can go ahead and connect the dots to the best of your ability. That looks like a pretty good line for me. And we're making a parabola on the other side. That's probably my best looking parabola I've made all year. And now we are looking for the solutions. We're solving this by graphing and we're looking at the solutions. What would be the solutions? Well, we are looking for x's, right? If I solve this guy, I would have x equals something. Well, where does this graph go through the x-intercept? We're looking for our x-intercepts for our solutions. So there are two x-intercepts. So our solutions are going to be negative 1 from this guy and a positive 3 from that guy. So it's negative 3, or sorry, negative 1 and positive 3. Now, what were the steps that we used to solve? Uh, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, our quadratic equation. Well, the first step was we put it in this form. We 
put in ax squared plus bx plus c. Make sure you get into that form first. Then you draw your axis symmetry, which is negative b over 2a. Then you plug in your axis symmetry into your equation, choosing two values bigger than or less than your axis symmetry. Then reflect those points over the axis symmetry. Determine if it opens up or down. Draw the parabola. And then find the roots of the graph. Let's try one more. Now we are asked to find the zeros of x squared plus 7 equals 4x. Well, here, zeros are the same things as the roots, are the same thing as solutions. So zeros are roots, and roots are solutions, roots are zeros, zeros are solutions. So let's go ahead and find our zeros, let's go ahead and find our solution. First step that we have to do, if you want to refer back to all our steps that we had on the last slide, go for it. First step here, we have to subtract the 4x over. So it's x squared minus 4x plus 7 equals 0. So there's my new equation. What was our next step? We found our axis of symmetry. Well, a I know is 1. b is a negative 4. Plugging that into our axis of symmetry, we have a negative, negative 4 over 2 times 1. That is the same as 4 over 2, so our axis symmetry now is 2. So this is very key. This is our axis of symmetry. So I'm going to put my axis symmetry right at 2. There's my axis symmetry that I just drew. Now I'm going to plug that 2 in to find my vertex. So let's go ahead. We go 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 7. We simplify to get... 4 minus 8 plus 7, that equals 3. So I'm going to put 3 on this graph. I'm going to go up 3 on my axis symmetry. Now, what is our next step? Please refer back to the steps on the previous slide. We pick two points bigger than or less than this 2, this axis of symmetry. What are two points bigger? I'm going to pick 3 and 4. Now I'm going to plug these 3 and 4 into this equation right there. So we have a 3 squared minus 4 times 3 plus 7. That will give you a 4. So I have coordinate point 3, 4. And then I plug in 4 squared minus 4 times 4 plus 7 equals 7. So it's coordinate point 4, 7. Now from your origin, you're going to graph 3, 4, so I go over 3, up 4, put a point. Then I have to graph 4, 7, so I go over 4 from my origin. I go over 4, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and put a point. Now we have to reflect the points across the axis symmetry. So it's 1, 2, 1 away from it. This point is 2 to it, 2 away from it. So now it is opening up. Should it open up? Yes, my A this is positive, so it should open up. Then we can draw our points, making a parabola, a U-shaped graph. And there we go, another U-shaped graph, another parabola. Now, does this graph go through the X, go through the X-intercept? It goes through the Y, but it does not go through the X. So if it does not go through this line down here, what kind of solutions do we have? Well, we do not have any solutions, so we have no solution for our equation. No solution or a zero with a uh, cross through it. And a couple more things. So number of solutions. If we have a parabola that intercepts the x-axis two times, how many solutions do you think we should have? If we have an intersection there and there, we will have two solutions. Well, here now, it only intercepts the x-intercept once, so how many solutions do we have? One solution, and if it does not intersect at all, we have no solution. And that does it for section 9.2, Solving Quadratic Equations by Graphing. Good day!